What's good everyone, you dig, four eyes, two G's here, and today we're here to talk about Lil Uzi Vert, and more specifically about his upcoming project Eternal Attake, and giving you guys all the info we have on the album so far. And let's start with the name Eternal Attake. Earlier on in July of this year, Uzi would tweet Eternal Attake and pin the tweet, which led to speculation from fans that it would be the name for his next project. He would confirm this later on in the month in a now deleted IG post with this artwork. And the meaning behind the name, Uzi would explain in this tweet, saying that eternal means forever, and a take means to overtake, essentially saying he's gonna be taken over forever. And controversially so, the cover art he initially teased was a reference to the cult Heaven's Gate, a religious cult where in 1997, 39 of its members actually committed suicide as they believed their deaths would take them off of Earth and save them from the upcoming ending of the Earth. They really be on some other shit. A representative for the cult would actually talk to Genius about Uzi via email, saying, quote unquote, he is using and adapting our copyrights and trademarks without our permission, and the infringement will be taken up with our attorneys. This is not fair use or parody, it is a direct and clear infringement. And it's pretty wild that they would even comment on the matter, and we are yet to know if this is still the cover art for the project, as after the news came out about their feelings towards it, Uzi would then post this picture, which features an animated out Uzi with more subtle references to the cult as his torso is replaced with their space image. And before we go any further for today guys, please make sure to like, subscribe, follow your boy in all social medias and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. But getting back to Uzi. And moving on to the music, as we all know, New Patek is the only Uzi track we have seen an official release for in quite some time. The track, originally teased via the viral Instagram snippet, was released in September to very warm reception from fans, and despite no video and no real label push, the single has managed to go gold, which is pretty impressive. Interestingly though, it may not even be on Eternal Attack. In an article Fader did on Working on Dying, Uzi was quoted in the piece saying that New Patek was released like it was because it didn't make his album. Furthermore, Working on Dying seems to be heavily involved with the project, with Brandon estimating that they've recorded over a hundred songs with Uzi in the past 12 months. In terms of other music that will feature on the album, nothing has been 100% confirmed yet, as we don't have any idea of the track listing. But in typical Uzi fashion, what we do have is snippets. A lot of snippets, and they sound amazing. I'm going to run through the majority of them now, and I want everyone in the comments to let me know which one of the snippets you're most keen to hear. For me personally, it's probably Zoom. You can't drop here, you can't back here. And the next tracks he would actually play very recently at his performance in Philly. Also, at this show, we would get word from Uzi himself that Eternal Attack was indeed finished. And this is the most concrete info we have gotten about the project yet, so this is a good sign and leads me to believe that it's probably going to be dropping very soon. But moving on to the tracks that he played live there. And it's unknown whether the unreleased tracks Uzi performed here will make it onto the album or not. 
but we can hope for an official release one way or another. And just in the interest of a complete picture of everything that went on with Uzi this year, if you guys are unaware, quite a few Uzi tracks would actually leak online this year, multiple of which were rumored to be on Eternal Take. And I've seen some comments saying why do you promote the leaks and that I shouldn't be spreading them, but from my perspective, I'm not the one leaking them, the damage is already done, and I just want as many fans as possible to enjoy the music out there. As the saying goes, don't shoot the messenger. Anyways, three tracks, 1600, of course, and Run It Up would be some of the Uzi tracks to leak in high quality this year, and this was rumored to be part of the reason as to why Eternal Take took so long. And if you guys haven't heard these, a quick Google search and you'll be able to find them. But that's pretty much all the info we have on the album right now. Thanks a lot for watching guys, and I hope you enjoyed the video. As I said, make sure to comment the snippet that you're most anticipating. Also, please make sure to like, subscribe, follow your boy on all social medias, and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video.